When I first arrived in Rome, I didn't realize how hard finding a black barber would be. It took me a while to locate, but after two months abroad, I left the streets of Trastevere in my finest black lumberjack outfit to venture off and find the right barber. Now Rome does have some very talented barbers. From the old school to the new school, the city's full of groomers with years of experience. However, these barbers are typically only familiar with cutting straight hair textures. So I took a tram, then a bus, to the Termi Station area to find a barber experienced in cutting hair like mine. Just beyond Piazza Venezia lies Via Nazionale, the street bridging Termini to the rest of Rome. Formerly constructed in the 1800s as part of the New Rome, Via Nazionale today is commonly known for its shopping and fine arts. But if you turn towards Piazza Vittorio, you'll find many pockets of Roman culture like open markets, cafes, and churches. After a scenic walk, I finally reached the barbershop. To me, it had a similar vibe as the barbershop back in the States. A little hip hop, some folks hanging out outside while there's lively convos inside. This is where I met my barber Wandi, who lines up even the local professional soccer players. One thing I found amazing about getting a haircut here is that Wandi will cut, wash, and style your hair for only 10 euros. Due to his popularity, it was a bit of a wave, so I went out for lunch to fill my time. Around the corner is Piazza Vittorio, the multicultural hub of Rome. After weeks of pizza and pasta, it was nice to try something different. This restaurant is owned by a Bangladeshi family and has a great fusion of Middle Eastern and Italian cuisine. Another highlight of Piazza Vittorio is the international market. Here you can find comfort foods from almost all around the world. It's one of my favorite places to look around and shop. After the market, I grabbed a coffee neighboring the barbershop. This quickly became one of my favorite places to relax and people watch. Then after a short wait, it was my turn in the chair. Interestingly enough, Wadi and I didn't speak the same language, so we primarily communicated through nonverbal communication and Google Translate. But he was an awesome person and a great barber, so it was never a problem. Though it took a long time, ultimately, finding this barbershop was a great experience. It exposed me to a lot of Rome, a lot of cultures that I wasn't formally exposed to, 
And at the end of the day, I got a great cut. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and for more videos or articles please go to blackxpat.com.